Hello YouTube, we are back for another installment of Roger Metarog's Avon Publication Witchcraft from 1952-53, that was November, December. I'm going to give some pointers with this upload because we're going to leaf cast the first wrap of the book. Excuse me, I'm having a Starbucks So, the key issue with this leaf casting is a few things. And let me explain, because I get a lot of questions from people on Instagram and in person, if I speak to them on the phone about leaf casting and my process. I see a few guys, well, let's step back. The first thing that I want to talk about is I actually, what I did was, and excuse me, I'm thinking out loud here. Okay, so what I did was I made several colors to try to make the pulp as close to the tan on this book. And the reason why I did that is because we want to do a good job. And I think that a part of leaf casting, and bear with me, let me just give it a quick little spritz to relax the paper and to make it wet because leaf casting will not attach to dry paper. It has to be wet. So, getting back to my point. I made three or four or five, actually, different types of paper pulp. This was the first one. This was my base. This is newsprint with bleach rinsed out. Wasn't good. Then I darkened it. Still wasn't good. Then I darkened it more. Still wasn't good. This is the end result. No, actually, this is the end result. So I think this is going to be a nice match when it dries together with the page. Now, getting back to what I was saying. So when you're doing leaf casting, you really, in my opinion, should attempt to match the pulp as close as possible. And you see how this just split, that's how weak it is. But I knew it was gonna split and I had Tengojo paper on it. And let's put it back to Tengojo paper as best as I could. There we go. And you see things do happen. And I'm going to remove the Tengojo paper. We're going to reinstall it. And as you see, things do happen on camera. And if it does happen, it's okay because you can turn around and fix it. So what I want to do is I want to straighten out this scent. The first wrap as best as possible. And then what we're going to do is we are going to apply new Tengojo paper. And it does happen, and I'm glad it did happen, just to show you that things don't always turn out as best as possible. Sometimes there are issues that happen, but you just have to fix it. So there's the Tengojo paper that I installed and it did come up and I think that that's good. So when I'm talking, and there is a little gap here as you can see, but we're gonna fill that up. We're gonna fill that up with the leaf casting. Another thing that I wanna bring up is I see people and people doing leaf casting following what I do online and it, it's wonderful. I, I really appreciate it. I get actual people contacting me, showing me 
pictures of what they did. And it truly is an amazing thing. But what I noticed is that a lot of times when people do the leaf casting, they really only focus, for example, with the spine, they only focus on putting the leaf casting in the spaces that are missing. And I'm not an advocate for that. And what I'm saying is they just will put the cast in this area, this area, this area. I don't think that is the way to do it if you're going to do leaf casting, because if the goal is to conserve the book, the spine on these old books, are very, it's very weak. So if you're going to leaf cast it, you want to leaf cast, in my opinion, the whole spine and go over the existing paper. And by doing that, you will strengthen the weakened spine enough where it will be able to be read and, and thumb through. Because filling in those little voids, in my opinion, are not enough. And I'm sure there's people who may disagree, but that's okay. You're allowed to disagree and there's different ways of doing a lot of different things. This is just the way I like to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another piece of 10 Gojo paper on the spine and we always leaf cast the spine from the inside of the book. So there we go, we'll feather out the Ten Gojo paper. So now this spine is going to be reinforced not only with leaf casting, but also it's going to be reinforced with the Ten Gojo paper. So let's give it a little misting as well. The Ten Gojo paper is flat on the center of the book. There is a little gap there, which is fine. Now, what I want to do is I want to mix my pulp up a little bit. Now, this is a special pulp formula that I developed specifically for Roger's book to match the color as best as possible. I want to try to use very little or as little as possible because I have a lot of leaf casting to do. So here is the cast that I'm, the pulp that I'm going to use. So now also what I want to do is I want to put my perimeter around the homemade leaf casting table. And this is in order to create more suction when I put the vacuum on. And I can adjust the suction. I can make it more. I can make it less. Next, I want to use, because I always do the spine first. So what I want to do is I want to try to cover the graphics with my plastic sheets so we don't get any cast on the actual graphics. Now here, once I remove the plastic sheets, we're gonna get some casting on that graphic. The only reason why we're gonna get some on that graphic is because there is paper missing in the graphics. So right now I'm gonna do the spine and then I'll remove my plastic sheet. So hold your ears.
Okay, guys, as you saw, I leaf casted the spine. I just want to put a little more pulp. Okay, so the spine is complete. Now I wanna gently remove the right side of my plastic, just like that. And I wanna fill in these areas right here. And unfortunately, there's going to be some casting on the graphics, but there's nothing that could be done with that. Okay, if everyone's still watching, I just want to show you when I do the spine, what I like to do is I like to round 
the bottom of the spine like this because I think it blends in better with the existing paper instead of having a straight line. So we'll round it in, which gives a better looking project when you're done. <laughs> Okay, lady and ladies and gents, we are done with the first wrap of Roger's book, at least with the leaf casting. Now, one thing I did not like 
was that I, I kept my blender with the pulp in the actual refrigerator that where I have my brewskis down here. And one thing that I will do next time, and, and it's, it's not gonna harm anything, it's gonna come out as well as all the other leaf castings I hope that I did, but one of the issues was that the pulp was a little, not frozen, but a little cold. So it wasn't flowing as much as I would like. So that, ooh, that was a lesson learned. So you see what just happened right there? The Tengojo paper lifted. And that is another mistake that I did on camera. The second one. So we're gonna have to fix this. And it's not a major issue because what I'll do is I'll just use my tweezers and we will flatten out the Tengojo that lifted. And in fact, what I want to do is I'm going to put the table back on, guys. And we're going to fix the issue and I'm going to apply a little bit more cast or a little bit more pulp there and we'll fix it. Because once I flatten that out, there's not going to be an issue. So hold your ears and we'll, I'll see you in a second. <laughs> Okay, so now we know for next time when I use the Ten Gojo paper, I need to trim it a little bit better on the perimeter of the book. But again, this is not anything that I should be concerned with. You have to understand, I'm doing this all on film. So every Thing that I do is in front of you guys and nothing is hidden so there's little hiccups that happen just like with anything that you do but you have to fix it and believe me it happens and sometimes your mind is not in it a hundred percent I'm thinking about 30 things right now when I'm doing it with work and whatnot. But I am getting a little break right now. So what I want to do is I want to give it a nice, a nice rolling now. And we're going to try to bring up some of that water that's in there. And as you can see, look at all the water that is coming up. So if you are watching and you, and you look and you say to yourself, you know what, there's a lot of bumps and things of that nature in the casting after I put it down, you're 100% right, there is. And the reason why there is is because there's a lot of moisture. There's a lot of water from the cast so by doing this right here we're absorbing the water and i want to absorb as much water as possible before i put it in my presses in my heavy glass presses now if i may also say 
that when I look at leaf casting jobs that people send me that they started doing it, I noticed that the on some of the pictures, the pages are very wavy, guys. So it's very important to take your time after you're done leaf casting and based on my experience of all of one year, about a year and a half, you have to press it. You have to press your job. If you don't press it and you leave it to dry without weights and without changing your paper towels frequently, in my opinion, you're not gonna get a good result because the drying time is the key and taking the moisture out is key. You have to do it where it becomes flat as a pancake and you have to let it dry flat as a pancake. Because if you don't do that, it's gonna be wavy and the cast is gonna be wavy and you're gonna have a difficult time getting it flat by pressing or by whatever other means you want to try to employ. It's not going to work. So that's one suggestion that I would give to everyone doing this. You need to let it dry really under pressure and by changing the paper towels frequently. Now, I'm gonna show you another thing. I'm gonna put this on top, so I hope the camera is getting it. The reason why I'm doing this now is because I don't wanna move my leaf casting table because I have a lot of casting to do. I have a lot of moving things around in order to get things done, and I don't wanna move around my table because I have to leaf cast every single sheet in Roger's book. So now I'm, I did this because I don't want to have the grate anymore. So I'm showing you what I do when I leaf cast. This is very important. You have to use your rolling pin or roller. I, I used the last time I have a Formica roller that you can buy for laminates that you can buy from Home Depot. That works very well. But anything flat where you can really press hard and get it where the pulp is smoothed out and pressed into the actual page that you're working on. So what I'll do is I'll put another sheet on and my wife gets upset because I go through a lot of paper towels. She actually doesn't get upset, but I do go through a lot of paper towels. And to me, I think that this is the best way to do it is by using the paper towels because it really is absorbent and you can keep on going with this pressing with the rolling pin for 10, 15 minutes, maybe more. But it really is a good way to do it. So what I also want to do is I want to flip it around. And I want to actually push it down into the... For Mica shelf. This is a shelf from Home Depot. You can buy it in a two pack. It's relatively inexpensive, but what is good about it is, is that it is nice and flat and it works very well when you want to press books between weight. If you don't have glass, you can use these two, two shelves like this. It will work out just as good or well as the glass. I just like to look at my work with the glass and I had those shelves from a piece of furniture that we had. And for that one guy 
who comments on my page. He's sort of like a little troll that says I talk too much. And last time he said I was delusional with the CGC upload that I did and paranoid. And he called me old. And then he removed the comments. Uh, I say don't watch if you think I talk too much because really if you're doing a upload trying to explain how you do things, you're supposed to talk. Would you rather just have silence? I guess that's why this fella has a whole 75 subscribers because he did some cleaning videos that he took down after he made comments about me. They, believe me, they weren't worth watching. So, again, let me flip it around and let's see if we can flip it around and get some more moisture out. Because this is the key, the key to doing it correctly. And I want to do really the best job I can do for Roger. And I'll tell you guys, what's going to happen is that I'm only going to upload this, this page, how I did it. And then I'm also going to upload the center fold. And then I'm going to upload the page with the cut coupon because I'm, I have something planned out for that. And it's going to be cool because the donor book does have the coupon that was cut out of this book. So what I'm going to do is I probably will cut it out exactly in the dimensions that it was cut out in the witchcraft book. And I am going to leaf cast and Tengojo paper the actual coupon back in the book. So at least Roger will have one side of the book in a nice condition. So I am going to open this up just a little bit to get a peek. And I know when I do this in the past, I sometimes had issues, but I want to inspect it. And I think it looks pretty good. Nice and flattened out. And hopefully the cast will take and we'll take it from there. So I'm going to end this upload and I'm going to put this under my glass press shelving. And then next will be we'll cut it up. And after cutting it up, I'm going to work like a jackrabbit and get all of my other pages done as fast as possible and we'll take it from there so stay tuned youtube and i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> 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 <laughs>